and that beautiful singer, Eleanor, joins me now in the studio. Hey, you've got a beautiful voice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on, Peter. And it's gone so viral. Um, what motivated you to put your head above the parapet and take on this issue? Because it is a big issue. I know in regional, uh, well, regional Australia, not just Victoria, uh, people are really concerned, aren't they? That's it. So I guess what motivated us is our small family farm was originally in a um, plan which was put out by AEMO which was going to put the transmission line. Now this plan was a, a width of 50 kilometres and it was running through um, all of Victoria and we were in that initial, initial plan so we were smack bang in the middle, uh, quite luck wasn't on our side, you know, in the middle we're kind of like okay this is probably not looking too fantastic for us and we felt helpless so what we wanted to do was try and get the word out there and get the conversation happening. So. Mm -hmm. You know, people were going to protest, which was fabulous, but we're a musical family. I'm a musician, a music teacher, and we thought we could do maybe something different, target a different audience, put out a visual and some music, and um, that's where the idea stemmed to do a bit of a parody of Jody Mitchell's Big Yellow Taxi. It worked so fantastically. So I guess that's kind of our backstory. You know, we were directly affected, so we wanted to do something to make a difference for our community. A lot of people look at those landscapes and think they're just beautiful uh, and we've got oceans too that will soon have wind turbines but in your case it's those big transmission lines. Now someone might say to you who don't understand why would you be worried about them crossing farmland? What's the big deal? Tell us what the big deal is. Well, there's a lot of issues with the transmission lines. You know, um, there's fire hazards, there's devaluation of land. There's also the amount of land I feel like people don't understand is um, to go renewable and to meet these um, these standards that they want to get to, we have to take a lot of agricultural land. And that's just not transmission lines. And we just went to the Sydney protest, the Reckless Renewable Rally, and we got to meet a lot of other people who are affected by the same thing. They're affected by turbines, by solar panels, by transmission lines. So um, it's a big thing because when you look at how much land they're going to take, not just for transmission lines, issues come into play like food security. Are we going to have enough um, food in Australia? And again, the devaluation of land is a big thing for our own farmers. You know, once these are going to be put up on, on their land, mm. it's going gonna, it's gonna to plummet the the value of their land and it's going to be harder for them to sell. And also there's a massive, um, the hazards of working it. So there's going to be all these issues and regulations that they're going to have to abide by. Just Harvesters, augers, all the things that could interfere and, and hit to, and cause death, obviously transmission lines. What amazes me though, is I guess yet again, country people are bearing the brunt for decisions made uh, to benefit urban Australians. You know, these are not going, these turbines on Manly Beach, and no one's putting a transmission line through Brighton or, you know, the nice eastern parts of Sydney. It's country people forced to, to bear the brunt. That's it. And once again, we are having to stand up for that, you know, and trying to protect the environment, you know, just start trying to save the trees, trying to, you know, keep the economy. But farmers know, are great custodians of the environment. That's it, you know, we, and we are passionate about the land and, and here we are fighting for the land, you know, we're, we're really concerned about, again, the trees, against, again, the food security, the birds, the bees, that's one of the lines in the songs that we kept the original, you know, like leave them in peace along with the birds and the bees. So, again, here we are trying to protect the land and, um, you know, we need, we need help, we need help to spread that word and that's why we put the song out to get that conversation happening.